Hello, this is Dr. Sandhya. I'm a senior consultant of Lokoma, working at Shekarai Hospital, Bangalore. Here to give you a few tips and precautions on what to take care and how to take care of your eyes post-operatively. The commonest eye surgery that is done is the cataract surgery. So let me take you through this process step by step, how it's done at my hospital. So after the cataract surgery is done, the patient is wheeled out of the OR room into the post-operative care room. The post-operative care room is where the patient meets up with their attendants again. It's well staffed. We have a OT nursing staff. We also have a, a greeter, a person who takes care of the discharge summary. This is very important because the patient needs to feel the de-stress. So this is the uh, point where they meet up with people and they see happy faces and they're generally feeling nice about the fact that the surgery is over. So this is a very essential thing that you keep the environment of that room happy. Uh, the patient meanwhile uh, remains seated uh, for the next half an hour to 30 minutes uh, while we complete all the formalities of giving them the discharge summary. Every hospital has its uh, discharge summary given along with post-operative medications or prescriptions that we give the patient. We at our hospital have made it very patient friendly. So uh, you get a chart which names uh, the drops as well as the oral medications that one has to take. We give uh, names with labeling as A, B, C, D and E along with the time chart. And it's very essential that the patient uses all these as per instructions. Normally these have to be started on the day of surgery itself. These are important because they contain medications which will take care of the patient's inflammation in the eye, of alleviate the pain, make sure that there's no infection and give some comfort to the patient. Normally, we patch the patient. So there is a, a bandage which is there on the operated eye only. Uh, this particular bandage, we expect the patient to keep it on until they reach home, after which they're told to rest for a couple of hours, followed by starting the medication as per the chart. Now, what is normal to feel during this time is a mild amount of discomfort in the eyes. They can uh, be some amount of watering that might come out and uh, some amount of, amount of pricking sensation. These are things which are very normal post-operatively and the medicines will take care of all of these symptoms. Uh, however, in certain cases, we keep the bandage on till the next day whenever the patient undergoes what we call as a retinal surgery or glaucoma surgery or we could have kids. So they undergo a squint surgery and so on and so forth. So there could be either one day of bandage or there is just a few hours of bandage. Uh, the very next day, what is normal is that you are seen by your uh, doctor again with uh, an examination, a thorough examination of the eye and any of the questions that you have, you can ask and discuss with your doctor. But do remember that feeling a little bit of imbalance, especially because you've undergone a surgery in one eye, which was patched and then the patch removed is very common and feeling some amount of, amount of discomfort, mild redness, these are all very common things in the eye. There are certain list of precautions you take, certain absolute do not do's. So let me just take you through all of them one by one. What you can't do after surgery. The most important thing that you should not be doing after uh, cataract surgery or any eye surgery as such is do not do any strenuous activities, do not lift any heavy weights. Secondly, do not expose yourself to dust because dust could cause infection in the eye. So we normally give you protection, we give you protective glasses. The protective glasses normally are dark colored for the first couple of days and we follow it up with white colored glasses. Most importantly, they protect you from anything which is coming from outside. So it's very essential to wear that particular glass. Uh, no rubbing of the eyes. No touching and no rubbing of the eyes is what one must follow. We give you eye wipes which are sterile wipes. So anything that has to be wiped from the eye should be with this sterile piece of uh, wipe that we give you. Also what is prohibited is swimming. 
uh, direct splashing of water and washing your face for a couple of days for about say 7 to 10 days no head bath we tell you not to take a head bath for again a couple of days one week to 10 days which might vary but you should be taking a body bath every day you should keep up the hygiene you should brush your teeth these are common things that come up uh, what you should again avoid is any kind of makeup eye makeup face makeup should be avoided for at least 2 to 4 weeks avoid hair dyes for at least 2 to 4 weeks again uh, no swimming these are a couple of things and in terms of yoga you could restart your home yoga after 2 to 4 weeks but better to avoid it in the first 2 to 4 weeks deep uh, breath holding exercises and head down positions of the yoga are a no no in the initial few days along with probably active gymming as well uh, what you should eat you should eat fresh food green leafy vegetables freshly cooked food you should avoid all kind of junk food all oily food anything that is more in glucose starch carbohydrates so too much of uh, bread is what you should be avoiding our normal home cooked fresh food is absolutely okay to eat uh, coming to what you can otherwise also do is walk around inside the house do some amount of minimal activity this is allowed watching tv for a couple of minutes a day is allowed and i want to decode a small little myth here the myth being you have to stay in the dark with closed uh, windows please do not do that you should allow good ventilation and uh, you should be in a good lighting room the glasses like i told you in our hospital we switch them from dark to light glasses so that they are adaptable quickly to the light processes but some hospitals might have you to use the dark glasses for a longer period of time Uh, these are a few do's and don'ts the common ones that i told you now i want to tell you about a few red flag signs that you should be very much aware of post operatively when you should be rushing back to the hospital those are whenever you have a vision loss a sudden drop in vision in the operated eye you have increased pain which is persisting despite all the medications and painkillers that the doctor has given you increased redness swelling of the lids or if you notice like a shower in front of your eye floaters and flashes so these are the conditions the red signs that or the red flags that you have to rush back to your hospital now coming to certain specific don'ts in certain specific eye surgeries uh under the group of surgeries we commonly do are the retinal surgeries now retinal surgeries inherently involve uh, the doctor uh, operating inside the eye removing a jelly inside the eye which we term as the vitreous and then putting your retina in place with uh, surgical instruments with lasers and we normally fill up this uh, uh vitreous instead of the vitreous we fill it up with gas or what we term as oil whenever we put in something else like the oil or the gas inside the eye we recommend the uh, patient to maintain a particular posture so that depends on exactly what the actual condition of the retina was so the doctor must have recommended a head down position or a right lateral left lateral position please do follow the same secondly whenever there is gas being used inside the eye change in attitudes is uh, something which should be avoided so deep sea diving as well as flying is something that should be avoided in all patients who undergo retinal surgery along with an intravitreal gas for coming to the next set of surgeries there could be a set of surgeries which we call as lasik or refractive surgeries uh, which we do for correction of power of the eye so post surgery we do tell the patient to use the eye drops use the protective glasses how would these patients could have more amount of uh, dryness and pricking sensation important to use the medicines as per your doctor's prescription you could go back into studying or going back to your work on the computer in the next 5 uh, days a uh, set of surgeries that we also do are termed as dcr it is when we create a small little passage in the eye for the drainage of the fluid here there is a risk of bleeding through your nose uh, 
सो वी गिव यू अड एलिवेटेड पोजिशन विथ टू पिलोर सो प्लीज फॉलो दैट पर्टिक्युलर इंस्ट्रक्शन इन किड्स कॉमनली वी परफॉर्म स्क्रीन सर्जरीज स्क्रीन सर्जरीज नॉर्मली हैव मोर सूचर्स दैन द नॉर्मल सर्जरीज एंड देर फोर इट टेक्स अ वाइल्ड दीज आर डिजॉल्वेबल सूचर्स uh they take a while about 2 to 4 weeks so feeling of a pricking sensation till then is something completely normal uh there is a surgery that we do called trabeculectomy or glaucoma surgery in which we reduce the eye pressure and in such cases we give you a small little eye shield which is protection to be used in the night please use the eye shield as well there is uh, another common surgery that we perform which is called keratoplasty which is nothing but transplantation of the cornea here there are multiple sutures uh, which have been put the follow ups are much more closer because you're looking at a donated graft here so please make sure you come for all the visits and follow up with your doctor now the final glasses for the patient normally are given one week till about uh, two to three weeks post operatively hello however your treating doctor might decide to uh, postpone it a little further probably give glasses after about a month in which case you just continue to use your protective glasses so these are a few do's and don'ts and precautions you take after surgery hope that gives you a lot of knowledge and power